Hi everyone, I'm Jayla, also known as Introverted Baddie, and welcome or welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I am going to be showing y'all how to make bracelets that will not break on you, okay? It's 2023, we do not need our beaded bracelets breaking on us, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all two methods on how to do it and just show y'all some proof that it won't break, okay? Here's one that I just made recently, like look. It will not, it will not break. Like, will not break. Still can wear it. See, like it's fine. Still nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. So, proof in the pudding, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all and I'm gonna get into the video. Okay, so um, I'm going to just be making a simple bracelet. It's not gonna be anything you know, too fancy or whatever. Um, I'm just gonna take some regular, let me see how many is that, black beads. Now it's gonna be a simple bracelet, but it ain't gonna be ugly. <laughs> like, don't, don't do that. It ain't gonna be ugly. All right, so we got our design right here. All cute, all simple, nothing much going on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the first method and then I'm gonna also show y'all the second method. So the first one, I used to do this one, but um, I end up using the second method more. So the first one is very simple. All you're gonna do is just basically just put all of the beads on the string. You're just gonna string all of these beads on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so now we are done. Let me move this out the way. Okay, so now we're done stringing the beads on the bracelet on the bracelet. Now we are done putting all of the beads on the string and all that's left to do is just to tie the knot, seal the deal and get those marriage documents, okay? So I'm just gonna cut like a good size. Um, I don't, you know, I kind of just leave room for error, you know? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tie it like this. I just tie it. Tie it tight, but not too tight. Because if you tie it too tight, then um, like it will pop on you. That happened to me like multiple times. So you know, don't tie it too tight. And then what you will do is you'll just continue to tie. I tied about like four to five times. You can't tie more, but just be wary that the more you tie, the bigger the knot will be. And if you have small beads like this it'll be a little bit harder to hide that knot. So, um, you know, for smaller bees, I tend to tie about like four or five times. But with bigger ones, I can stand to tie about like five or six. I was talking, I don't even know how many times I done tied this. But since it's just for show, I'm just, I'm just leaving it at this. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take these two strings. Let me see, hope y'all can see it. Okay, take these and I'm just gonna cut it. The key to this method is super glue. Um, honestly, in my opinion, you don't have to use super glue. Like if you're just doing this for yourself, you don't really have to use super glue. You can just have it just like this and boom. I mean, you have you a snazzy regular bracelet that, you know, like, or if it's not basic, hey, it ain't basic, you know, you do you. But I mean, you can just have it just like this and I mean, it'll hold up just fine as long as you're not being super rough with it because it will break on you. Like it will break on you. So this one, this method I recommend if it's just like for personal wear, like you're not really too rough with your jewelry. Like you're just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna just put it on, go on by my day. I recommend that. And then you can, if you want to be a little bit more secure, you can just get some super glue and put it on the knot. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that for y'all. 
right now. So with the super glue, all you're gonna do is um, you're gonna get that knot. If I can find it. Okay. So what you do with the super glue? The purpose of it is um, you're gonna just get that knot. I hope y'all can see it. But you'll get the knot right here, and then you'll just put a dot of super glue on it. You don't put a lot. You just put just like a little bit of super glue on that just like that there we go okay that's enough and you'll just let it dry so just fan it a little bit so you don't get super glue all on your beads i say fan it for like maybe 10 seconds so your arms might hurt but hey it's a good workout okay it's a good workout. And I don't know, just, just do it. It's a little wet. Uh, oh. Okay, gotta fan a little bit more, y'all. Okay. It's a little wet, but yeah, this method, here we go. It, hey, it still hold. It hold up really good. It holds pretty good, but I just personally don't, I, I don't, I personally don't like it because um, it just don't feel that secure to me. And then plus like, look, like when you stretch too much, you end up getting this gap. So it's like, I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the second method. This is my preferred method. I really like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use the same, um, the same beads and everything. And go ahead and get that situated. You are going to need some string, your beads, and a beading needle. Now, this isn't an official beading needle. All I did was get some 22 gauge wire. I bent it in half and I um, just use my uh, needle nose, or is it needle nose or long nose? I use these pliers and I just like crimp the ends like this. Hope y'all can see it, but I just crimp the ends like this. And that's just what got me this beading needle. Of course, you can always go to a craft store and just get a beading needle. It really doesn't matter. They're gonna do the same thing. So, I take about an arm length of string. So I kinda just like measure it by my arm. I know y'all can't see my arm, but I take about an arm length of string and then I fold it in half, right? And then I'm going to cut, right? All right, boom, we already there, we already there. So then I'm gonna take these ends that I just cut, like I just cut these ends, right? I'm gonna take these and I'm going to tie a knot. Uh -oh. I'm going to tie a knot. Now, it might be a little annoying tying this knot because it's with two, but boom. Tie the knot. Don't tie this knot too tight because then it'll get real small and um, the bees could go through it. So just tie it tight enough, but don't tie it like super duper tight to where it's really small. Okay, so then you're just gonna get your beading needle and you will just slide up. You would basically just put the string in between this part here. Can y'all see that? You'll put the string in between here and it'll just look like this. So this is what you wanna end up with. You wanna basically have it look like it's a needle in the thread and you about to sew something, okay? Okay. So, now trying to get it a little even. So now you're gonna do the same thing as you did before, except um, you're just gonna take these two pieces, put them together and you'll put it in, you'll put it through and you'll come all the way out on the end. And there you go. Let me do it one more time so you guys can see. 
You're gonna take these two ends right here, put them together, slide it down all the way to the end, like that. And I'm gonna do it one more time, because third time's a charm. I'm gonna put it on here. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna put it on here like that. Oh, not like that. <laughs> hold on. All right, you're gonna put it on here like that. Boom. You're gonna hold this in and you're just going to slide it all the way down to the end. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting all these on here. Okay, so we're finally done putting everything on the string, okay? Okay, so now you're just basically gonna shimmy all of these beads down to this end. So this end with the needle on it, you want all of the beads to come down here. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. So you're just gonna bring all of it down. We're gonna keep going. All right? And you want to get to the very end, but you want to leave some out. So not the very, very end, but like you want to get close enough to the end. I'm trying to, and I like to keep the needle on so I don't lose this loop. Okay, so you want to leave about like this much lift, right? Okay. All right, all right, we're on the same page. Then you're going to get your scissors. And you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut like, you want to cut about... Yeah, you wanna cut about that much. And that's just so, you know, the strings are long enough for you to comfortably tie a knot. So then you're gonna take, so you have two strings, right? You got two strings after you just cut it. You wanna take one of these strings. It don't matter if it's lefty, it don't matter if it's righty. You're just gonna take one and you're gonna put it through here. You're gonna put it through this loop, all right? So you, you got this loop right here? You got lefty or righty? And you're gonna put it through that loop like that, right? And then you're gonna end up with this. Then you're gonna take this string right here and you just, I'm just holding it. I ain't doing nothing with it, I'm just holding it, right? So then, boom, here you go. This is where we are right now. So then, you're gonna take this beading needle off. We don't need that no more. It served its purpose, right? And now I'm left with two strings. All right, what do you do with these strings? I'll tell you what you need to do, Will. You're gonna go ahead and you're going to tie a knot. You just tie a regular knot. And you're just gonna tie and you're just gonna pull it really tight. Like I said though, not too tight, but tight enough. And you're just gonna keep on, gonna keep on tying the knot. Now, you're going to make sure that you push all of the beads up. Like you wanna make sure that you push all of the beads to where you don't see that loop anymore because then you'll have a gap. So um, just, you know, really before you tie that first knot, you wanna do that, but it really doesn't matter. You can tie a knot and then do it after, but just make sure that you're scooting up those beads so you don't have that loop showing, so you don't have a gap. Keep in mind, the more times, you know, you tie it, the bigger that knot will be. So, um, you can tie as many times as you want, but just be wary that like, you know, even though the knot is going to form inside of here, it still is going to show if you tie it, tie a real big knot. So, boom. Well, I tied it pretty good. And now I'm just going to cut off the string. Uh -oh. I'm just going to cut off the string. And boom, here we go. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. It's the same bracelet, but it just feels way more secure. And then like, it just, it just feels so much more secure. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. Way more secure. Amazing. Okay y'all, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys like these tutorials cause I like those tutorials. I like telling y'all what to do, okay? I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I'm not bossy, okay? Okay. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. 
be sure to like comment and subscribe all as always leave some critique down below and i will see you guys girls thanks in my next video bye